Alrighty, ladies and gents, how you guys doing? It's been a long time. I realise, I realise that. But hey, it's not as if we've been missing out much because Apple hasn't held the keynote in some time. The last one was in October and now it is end of April. This is a record for Apple. Um, they don't really, you know, it's not often when this is done. They've usually got a keynote every two or three months where they're introducing stuff. And the Apple's most recent financial quarter where Tim Cook said, yeah, they made uh, a mistake in releasing the IMAX last year. Should have been this year. And the result of that is they've had no new products in the first quarter of this year, literally. And the financial call really they didn't reveal much apart from saying we're going to have amazing new products in the fall and next year. A lot of people said, well, if he said that, then there's not going to be any new MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros before then and I don't think that's true. Uh, what I personally interpret as amazing and new products as is something like the iWatch or the app, the, t the TV section, the TV home cinema and stuff. Uh, I think Apple is really going to be in there but in terms of the current products and just giving them a refresh uh, and knowing that Haswell chipsets are pretty much uh, being released in the June time frame. Uh, it makes no sense why they would not update the Mac Airs and the MacBook Pros and the Mac Pros. And recent rumours have indicated that Apple is indeed ramping up next month uh, the MacBooks uh, in terms of uh, production and so on. And hopefully come WWDC we'll see new refreshed MacBook Airs and specific Retina display on MacBook Airs. I really do miss my MacBook Air and having a Retina display on it would be pretty damn awesome. WWDC tickets went on sale on Thursday at 10 a.m. and sold out in two minutes. Um, but apparently, Apple is now contacting developers, prominent developers who had huge success in terms of sales and profits and so on, and said, "Hey, um, are you interested? We've still got some tickets." Uh, which is kind of dodgy, you know. Did Apple purposely not release as many tickets as they have in previous years, or they somehow managed to are going to extend the haul? in the next month. But the purpose of really making this video is just to kind of keep you updated I'm still alive. Rumours of my death are deeply exaggerated. Um, no, a few of you have commented and to be honest um, nothing really was happening in the Apple scene and those of you who watch my channel know it's strictly Apple. Um, nothing going on, why make a video if nothing's going on? And I kind of lost touch on iOS even although I still use my iPhone on a day to day basis. Uh, but iPad stuff, iWatch stuff, uh, Apple TV isn't really my cup of tea. It's all about Mac OS X. Um, and it's good to know that Tim Cook in the financial call did specifically talk about the Mac and saying how it's not going to go away, it's going to be kind of there all the time and this is where people who are buying iPads are going to come over to Mac OS and it's going to kind of bounce off back and forth. And I like how he commented in saying that WWDC is not, it's specifically going to be about iOS and Mac OS X and that is interesting, hence why you're seeing this video and hopefully if anything else develops or if anything comes out, of course I'll be getting the MacBook Air, of course, goes without saying. But yeah, that's it for this video, let me know what you guys are waiting for, what are you going to be getting, I know a few of you are waiting for the Mac Pro. Here's a top tip, if you're looking to get a Mac Pro and you want some detailed information or kind of be up to scratch, there's a really good Facebook page, I'll leave it on the screen, and um, it's put it this way, you won't want to miss out on it. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Have a look, have check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!